So I'm, a, I'm the stage designer for The Red Shoes. Um, I've been working for about 22 years. You have to start by first understanding what you're trying to communicate with the idea or with the storyline uh, to an audience. At its best, design can enhance production with assisting to communicate the story or the idea. Um, I, I think design has a responsibility to do that. And I think what I loved about it was that it opens, it opened up a whole new world to me. But I think that's the beauty of, of uh, live performance. It can, or any, any art really, it, it can open up a whole new world to its audience. I tend to start with the set and I build a world and then I'll people the set with the costumes. You start with the design, so there's drawing, there's research, there's uh, talking to the director, there's shopping, buying fabrics, there's buying little things like buttons and zips and thread and all those tiny little things that you, you don't really think of um, when you look at a show. Natalie and I looked at the fairy tale, Hans Christian Andersen. We looked at the movie, but we also looked Beyond those two, there's been a lot of versions of the Red Shoes over the years, from pop culture to ballet to film. I mean, the story that I want to tell is that ambition, so the Red Shoes, which symbolise ambition or greed, whatever you want to call it, how the consequences that that has on your life. So I guess that's the, that's the brief storyline that I want to contribute through the design.